In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand to subdue the nations before him and strip the lawyers of kings, to force gateways before him, that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob, of Israel my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, conferring a title, though you do not know me. I am the Lord unrivaled. There is no other God besides me. Though you do not know me, I arm you, that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun, that apart from me all is nothing. The Word of the Lord. Give the Lord glory and honour. O sing the new song of the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord glory and honour. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are naught. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honour. Give the Lord, you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honour. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Give the Lord glory and honour. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus and Timothy to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all, and constantly remember before God our Father how you have shown your faith in action, work for love, and persevere through hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers, that God loves you and that you have been chosen, because when we brought the good news to you, it came to you not only as words, 
but as power and as a Holy Spirit and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine in the world like bright stars. You are offering it the word of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said, and they sent their disciples to him, together with Herodians, to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way, and that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why have you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius, and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they replied. He then said to them, Very well. Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brethren, that my 
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion and away from it sends ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, and spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Vincent, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity of mortals with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant our Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you give in this present age, and prepare for the gifts of our eternal, through Christ our Lord. Son and the Holy Spirit, go forth, the Mass is ended.